Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we have some really interesting information to share with you guys. We're talking about iOS 16 beta 5, the iOS 16 public release. We have some really interesting information on that topic and of course much more information regarding iOS 16 and some more features you need to know about. Now before we get into the video, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Also leave a like on this video as it really helps out a lot. All right, first of all, we're talking about some features that we have missed on the previous videos. Now, this one is really interesting. When you go to your settings and you go to the focus right here, based on which focus mode you wanna customize, iOS now will suggest you wallpapers for that specific focus. Let's say if we go to sleep here, and we try to customize this, you can see it will give you these suggestions. You can see for the sleep, it will give you this one. For gaming, for example, it will show you controllers and things like that, which is really, really cool. On the lock screen of your iOS 16 device, if you have the weather widget, enabled and you have location services turned off now it will show you that icon right there so you can see that location icon with like a slash on it which indicates that you have location services turned off and we have some more changes on safari here so apple has removed actually some stuff on safari the start page text has been removed when you go to safari and also when you go to your tabs you have multiple tabs open right here it would actually it used to say the number of tabs you have open right here at the top now apple has actually removed that and you can also see here the background is different so you will have now a blurred version of the wallpaper that you have on your home screen now this is also really interesting when you're trying to drag one of your contacts you will see now they have created like this little card right there that shows the at symbol and also like a profile picture right there now this used to be just like a line now it has like its own card and it actually looks pretty cool going to settings under general and keyboard you will notice that apple has actually added here another option if you go to english us you can see you have a new option for the dvorak keyboard or right here this has been added i believe with beta 3 but we have missed this feature and going to the iMessage app, you know there are a lot of new features with iMessage. You can actually 3D touch on like a conversation to mark it as unread, but you also have the option to swipe now from the left to the right to quickly mark this as an unread message. And now we finally, of course, have the locked hidden album and the recently deleted albums. So when you go here, now you will see a new text. So basically it says use face ID to view this album. This was different before the text right here has changed with beta four. And now let's talk about beta five. First of all, when to expect it. Beta five should be released, of course, this week. Today is Monday. It should happen either tomorrow or on Wednesday. So August 9th or 10th will be the date that we will get the fifth beta of iOS 16. What to expect from this beta? Don't expect to see a lot of new features. Apple has already released most of the features they talked about at WWDC 2022 and some of them that hasn't, haven't been added yet to iOS 16 will actually be added in the future, not with the initial public release of iOS 16. So expect of course a few new features and some changes to the current features that are on iOS 16 beta for some improvements of course. I expect them of course to make the usual bug fixes and improvements that they do with every other update but this now might be a smaller update than the first four betas and of course with less new features as from now on apple is most likely re actually moving to a weekly schedule they would release probably the next beta next week so right here on the 10th we might get beta 5 probably will get it or even 9th or 10th and then the next week we should see beta 6 then beta 7 of course then beta 8 and then the rc version which i expect to be the next update after beta 8. we have some more details on that so let's talk about the release date of iowa 16 to the public so here's what i'm talking about this is a tweet here from max on twitter a very reliable source and according to him even though he's not 100 percent sure i can of course cannot guarantee this september 6th might be the date of the event for the new iphone 
and the iPhone will go on sale on September 16th. You know what that means iOS 16 has to be released before September 16th before the new devices ship out to the, to the public. So here's what I'm expecting. Now we were predicting that we will get iOS 16 on September 19th, but it might happen a week earlier. So if the event as Max says will happen on September 6th right here, we will go to the pre-orders on the 9th right here. And then the release of iOS 16 should happen on Monday, September 12th. This is the date that I'm expecting Apple to release iOS 16. If of course everything turns out to be true, how Mac says, even though of course he's not 100% sure. But if that happens, if the event is on the 6th, then you can expect the public release of iOS 16 to actually happen on the 12th. These are the dates and then of course the release to the public of the new iPhone, the shipment will happen on September 16th. So as a conclusion, iOS 16 is turning out to be an amazing update. Even though from now on, I don't really expect Apple to release much new features to iOS 16 because a lot of those that are the bigger ones like the live activities features will be features that will be released on next updates, of course, after the public release of iOS 16, even though it is an amazing update. On, until now, we're on beta 4, probably beta 5 tomorrow or on Wednesday, we have almost 400 or even more new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 16. And with all these new features and changes, this is one of the best iOS updates we had in a few years. In my opinion, this is one of the best since like iOS 7 has been released. This is my favorite at least with a bunch of new features. Of course, the new lock screen, the new lock screen widgets, which actually have a huge potential alongside with live activities. We will have to wait for devs to create their apps and see what they can do with these features but they will be amazing and of course you will love it once you get your hands on on ios 16 and with this latest surprise ios 16 seems like it will be out way sooner than we thought usually we get the updates the bigger updates towards the end of september and it looks like this year we will get it way way earlier so amazing update can't wait to get our hands on and of course all the ios users have this update on their device so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this of course leave a like on this one as it will help out a lot it will help the video and the channel do much much better make sure to subscribe more ios 16 videos are coming really really soon